oldest living creatures. From creatures thought to be extinct, to animals that live so deep down you wouldn't know they were still alive, here's some of the world's oldest living creatures. Number 9. Frilled Shark Believe it or not, there are currently animals in the world today that are believed to have resided in the times of prehistoric creatures. One that is confirmed is the frilled shark, which is from the Cretaceous period and is thus known as the living fossil amongst many. An easy way to tell that the frilled shark doesn't come from our age is to look at its body composition. It doesn't have a large dorsal fin. Instead, it has numerous fins on the side and bottom of its body. Its skin also looks very rugged and worn, which many have likened to certain types of eels. In fact, the frilled shark has been compared to an eel a lot because of its length and movement capabilities, which is appropriate given that its body is only about 6.6 .6 feet long at max. Not to mention that their elongated heads and necks don't match other sharks of the modern age. Another odd thing about the frilled shark is that they are rarely seen by humans. You'll need to go to 5,000 feet below sea level in certain parts of the ocean, like the Atlantic and Pacific, just to see one. Though some reports have it close to the surface in other areas, such as in Suruga Bay, Japan, where it's said to be only 660 feet below sea level at max. Either way though, this fish is one of the rare few that are an observable window into the prehistoric world, which is why many want to study it. Number 8. Coelacanth no fisherman ever expects to catch an extinct animal, especially 65 million years extinct. But for the coelacanth, that's what happened when it was rediscovered by a fisherman off the coast of Africa. This fish was created during the Cretaceous period, back when dinosaurs ruled the earth, and by the time the modern age arrived, it was just assumed that the coelacanth was extinct, especially when fossils of the creature were found and no other fish in the water that we knew of looked like it. Then, in 1938, a marine biologist found this long-dead fish while looking through a fisherman's hull. And not only was it a coelacanth, it looked exactly like the fossils that were found of its kind. The question now is, how did it stay hidden for so long? The answer might just be the simplest of all, space. There's a lot of places in the ocean, and the coelacanth is thought to live in somewhat deep waters, which makes it incredible that it was caught at all. Eventually, another species of coelacanth was found in Indonesia, further proving that the species is alive and well. Number 7. Goblin Shark the goblin shark, also known as the vampire shark, is one of the most interesting things you will find in places like the Marina Trench. Why? Its age. Its species is said to have lived for millions of years. They are believed to be so old that not unlike the frilled shark, they are referred to as living fossils. While most sharks are considered to be scary in one form or another, most agree that the goblin shark is terrifying. What's more, its scary reputation is earned because of its unique feature on it. That's because the elongated nose of the goblin shark is full of electromagnetic sensors. It can detect even the smallest discharge of electricity, such as in a prey's brain. Yet that's not what makes it so terrifying. When it does find food, it'll not only lock in on it, it extends its mouth from its body and chomps down on the foe a feature that is not common with sharks or various other species on Earth. If you're familiar with the creature known as the Xenomorph from the Alien franchise, you'll know what to expect from the Goblin Shark, and that makes it horrifying, while also making it a creature that you could very easily liken to an alien from another world. On average, the Goblin Vampire Shark is said to be about 10 feet long, but because of their rarity and the fact that the adults tend to live in deeper waters that humanity can't reach easily, it's possible that the Goblin Sharks are much bigger than we realize. So with a large size, a scary mouth, and more, you can see why people are afraid of this shark. Number 6. Martialis Eureka Ant The Martialis Eureka Ant is a bit of a curious one when it concerns species that have been alive for a very long time. Mainly because it wasn't discovered until the year 2008. That's right, it was barely found over a decade ago. And yet, it's one of the oldest species of bug out there in the world today. In fact, if you were to compare the respective ages of all the insects of the world in terms of when their species arrived, the Martialis eureka ant would be the oldest. Martialis eureka ant represented not just a new species of ant, but also a whole new genus and subfamily, a primitive prehistoric one that existed at the very beginning of ant evolution 120 million years ago. That's one of the ironies about the animal life. They could be here from times long ago past, but if we don't don't find them and study them, we'll never know. It's the same thing in regards to wondering how long animals live. Unless we can keep them alive long enough, we'll never know their upper limit. So at that end, there could be other bug species out there that also come from millions of years ago and are still around today. Number 5. Tadpole Shrimp 
Today, the tadpole shrimp are in a bit of a precarious situation. Mainly, they are listed as an endangered species, which means they are in danger of becoming extinct. The irony of this is that should they fall, they would have fallen after living over 220 million years on Earth, as they've been around since the Triassic period of history. However, there is hope for the species, mainly in that scientists discovered it in 2010 that the species has a very unique trait when it comes to their reproduction. Mainly, they're able to lay eggs and have them lie dormant, even in dry conditions. Then, when they are hydrated again, they can still hatch, thus continuing the species. Now that we know how this curious creature survives, we have realized that there's a good chance there are more populations out there," said Dr. Larry Griffin from the Wildfowl and Wetlands Trust. Thanks to that revelation, the species has been able to bounce back, but it will still need to grow big in numbers in order to ensure that it doesn't slide back down to endangered once more. Number 4. Sturgeon Technically speaking, when you talk about sturgeons, you're not talking about a singular fish, but something much more. Sturgeon is the common name for the 27 species of fish belonging to the Asapensuridae family. Their evolution dates back to the Triassic period some 245 to 208 million years ago. Over the course of time, some of those species are believed to have gone extinct, but the species as a whole continues to grow even with fisheries going after them. Another key aspect of them is that unlike many other fish in the oceans, the sturgeons are not known to have evolved that much over time. Both sturgeons and paddlefish have been referred to as primitive fishes because their morphological characteristics have remained relatively unchanged since the earliest fossil record. This is curious as most fish need to adapt in order to survive predators, and yet the sturgeon does not. If you're curious as to why the sturgeon are hunted by humans, that would be because they have roe, or internal eggs, which are used to make caviar. Number 3. Lamprey the species known as lamprey are ones that often get confused for various things, including incorrectly being labeled as lamprey eels by some despite not having connections with the species. There are about 38 known extant species of lampreys and 5 known extinct species. Parasitic carnivore species are the most well known and feed by boring into the flesh of other fish to suck their blood, but only 18 species of lampreys engage in this micropredatory lifestyle. The species has lived an exceptionally long time. Mainly, they have existed for about 360 million years, putting them as some of the oldest remaining creatures alive. Yet when it comes to their fossil record, it's honestly slim pickings, not because the species isn't numerous, but because the creature is made up of cartilage and not bone. Thus, fossilization is a lot harder than it is with others. The first fossil lampreys were originally found in early Carboniferous limestones, marine sediments in North America. None of the fossil lampreys found to date have been longer than 10 centimeters, and all the Paleozoic forms have been found in marine deposits. Number 2. Jellyfish you might believe that certain creatures that have lived very long periods of times are ones that are some of the most complex in the world, and yet that's not true in the case of the jellyfish. While there are many different kinds of jellyfish all over the world, the species as a whole has existed for many hundreds of millions of years. At first, the oldest living one was said to have existed from the period of about 300 million years ago, but new discoveries are now pointing to a find that says they've been around for over 500 million years. This came from a new fossil record that revealed new details. The fossil record is a full of circular shaped blobs, some of which are jellyfish, said Pauline Cartwright, assistant professor of ecology and evolutionary biology and one of the article's authors. That's one of the reasons the fossils we describe are so interesting, because you can see a distinct bell shape, tentacles, muscle scars, and possibly even the gonads. That's a very impressive thing, not the least of which is because while jellyfish technically haven't evolved in regards to being more complex creatures, there is a wide variety of jellyfish in the world today, including some that are immortal, so it's stated, and some that are the deadliest creatures around. Should it be further proven that they were around in some of the earliest times of life on Earth, it would raise many interesting questions. Number 1. Sponge Many people forget that things like coral and sponges are living creatures, mainly because when you look at them, you don't think that they're alive for one reason or another. However, in the case of the sponge, not only are they alive, but they are some of the oldest things around. This was proven back in 2014 when a 760 million year old rock was found and discovered to have a sponge fossil in it. One in 2009 had a 635 million sponge fossil inside of it, further proving how long these creatures have been around. Sponges, 
were the first to branch off the evolutionary tree from the common ancestor of all animals, making them the sister group of all other animals. So if you're looking for the oldest creatures on Earth, the sponges would be the place to look, even if they don't look the part. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these very old living creatures? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.